slam. Oh my god! What a move! Yeah, I, I can't tell you how excited I am to be in uh, WWE 12. I think this is the best game that has ever come out for the WWE. It's a bigger, badder, better game. The gameplay is amazing. The presentation is huge in this game. The graphics, the details. I mean, when I look at this character, I see myself. Like, I can see my face. It's amazing. To see myself in the WWE 12 is surreal. Um, it's something that even when I was a kid, I couldn't even fathom that I'd be a part of something as cool as WWE 12. And this year, every year, all of us superstars and divas ask, how is THQ going to top itself? Because last year, I didn't think they could top themselves, you know, from that game. And it's funny because WWE 12, it looks better, it feels better, it plays better. And um, I think on, on November 22nd, when we actually launch the game, you can buy it in the United States, it's going to be, I think, it's going to exceed everybody's wildest expectations. And everybody better play Natalia because she's the number one diva. <laughs> you can tell Maurice I said that too. <laughs> I've been in video games uh, quite before, man, but this WWE 12, man, it's like, it takes video games to a whole different dimension. You know what I'm saying? It's like going back to my first video game playing Atari to like now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, this feels better, looks better, the sound is even better, man. So it's, uh, it's futuristic. It's crazy. I just played it before, and the attention to detail is phenomenal. There's like a scar on my chest. I didn't even know people knew I had. It's in the game. You know, the headband's perfect. The, the wrist tape is perfect. The boots are perfect. It's just, it's so authentic. It's, it's amazing. And I, was, I was in shock because they did a really good job. He kicks like me, punches like me, moves like me, uh, everything, you know? It was really cool, and uh, I'm a big fan of video games, so, so Watching myself for the first time in a video game, it was just like a dream come through. For what WWE 12 is, the kind of game it is, and what we do, and what it's emulating, and all that, couldn't be done any better. Growing up as, as a guy who played video games, and, and uh, old school Nintendo, and all the one, you know, I, I grew up on that stuff. Everybody in my neighborhood grew up on it, and, and uh, you know, we, after school, we, we we pretend we were in these worlds and travel through this thing, and, and we'd have you know fantasized with these things. And now to have kids, uh, you know, gonna go home and, and be Alex Riley is, is just an amazing feeling. So yeah, I played a lot of Donkey Kong when I was younger, um, to where my mom had to religiously constantly pull the, the plug out and be like, no, you cannot do this anymore. <laughs> you have to go outside. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I loved it, but now, you know, I not so much. When I was a child, I was completely obsessed with Super Mario Kart. Definitely played like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Mario, Sonic, all that, all that early, you know, early 90s, late 80s stuff, I was definitely playing it. Well, I, I'm a big fan of uh, football soccer games or that uh, sequel of Resident Evil. I'm a big, big fan of Resident Evil. Yes, yes, but now with this W12, I'm in the video game, so it's, it's just, it's gonna be my favorite game. The one match that really stands out to me as being remarkable is um, the match with my uncle, Brett the Hitman Hart, and my other uncle, the British Bulldog at Wembley Stadium. Um, again, that was for SummerSlam 2, which is totally appropriate for now, and um, it was just, Th that match just was, I felt like, revolutionary. I loved watching uh, Rock and Triple H. You know, I think they had some great, uh, great matches where you know, Vince would come down and get involved, and, uh, you know, Shane was out there, you know, and, and he had he had paid off the referees. You know, that, that was great stuff. Growing up, man, the match that stood out to me the most, man, was um, really Hogan versus Andre the Giant. Uh, Shawn Michaels one of my favorites. Bret Hart's one of my favorites. When they wrestled at uh, WrestleMania 12 and that Iron Man match, you know, two of the best, two of my favorites. It was, uh, it was great. It was a historic match. My dream match will be against Undertaker. For me, he's like the godfather of, uh, of sports entertainment. So that will be my, my, my dream match. I think, you know, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to uh, have a match against The Rock, you know, on the video game, because he's back, he's back in the WWE. He's shaking things up. He was always so dynamic and electrifying in the ring. And, and uh, you know, I never got a chance to work with him uh, until he came back with The Miz, and we didn't have a match. I was just out there kind of in, in a talking segment. So to, uh, to have a match with him uh, in the game would be great. If I could wrestle a match or be a part of a match with any one person, um, it would be the diva that I respect the most, and that would be Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon. Right now, you know, we're, we, um, we are the divas of doom, and she is one of my best and closest friends in the WWE, but she is somebody that I believe we could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, and 
Um, may the best diva win. Nothing compares to the real thing, you know, when it comes down to it. But as far as WWE 12 and what they did, they, they came damn close. You know, if, if as of right now, if you're going to do anything with our business other than, you know, actually perform yourself, you know, playing this game gets you just about as close to that as you can be. November 22nd, you can go around and get it. WWE 12, that's what's up. Hi, I'm Kelly Kelly, and thanks for watching Game Trailers.